Welcome to the final part of this webinar where we will look at different fiber connectors and what difference they make to the fiber channel. Let's now consider the impact of connectors in the optical path. Optical return loss, ORL, represents the total accumulated light power reflected back to the source from the complete optical span, which includes the backscattering light from the fiber itself, as well as the reflected light from all of the connections and terminations. ORL, expressed in decibels dB, is defined as the logarithmic ratio of the incident power to the reflected power at the fiber origin. A high level of ORL will decrease the performance of some transmission systems. For example, high back reflection can dramatically affect the quality of an analog video signal resulting in the degradation of the video image quality. The higher the ORL value, the lower the reflected power and subsequently the smaller the effect of the reflection. Therefore, an ORL value of 40 dB is more desirable than an ORL value of 30 dB. It is important to note that ORL is expressed as a positive decibel value, whereas the reflectance of a connector is expressed as negative value. The reflectance value of an event, such as a connection, as well as its distance from the transmitter terminal, both affect the total ORL value. As the length of the fiber increases, the amount of total backscattered light by the fiber also increases, and the fiber end reflection decreases. Therefore, for a short fiber link without intermediate reflective events, fiber end reflection is the predominant contribution to the total ORL, as the amount of reflected light is not highly attenuated by the fiber. On the other hand, end reflection of a long fiber length or a highly attenuated link is attenuated by absorption and scatter effects. In this case, the backscattered light becomes the major contribution to the total ORL, limiting the effective end reflection. The importance of reflective events on total ORL depends not only on their location along the fiber link, but also on the distance between the reflection and the active transmission equipment. Solutions are available that allow for a reduction in ORL or that limit the undesirable effects associated with a high ORL value, and they include the use of low reflection connectors such as APC or angled physical contact or HRL, high return loss, or UPC, ultra-physical contact. A second solution is to use an optical isolator near the laser in order to reduce back reflection levels. Interconnection loss associated with splices and connectors can be divided into two components, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic mechanisms are a direct function of manufacturing tolerances on fiber core quality, ovality, eccentricity, and delta outside diameter of the fiber. Extrinsic mechanisms depend on the connection hardware and its ability to control separation between the fiber ends, axial tilt, and fiber transverse offset normalized to core diameter. The total interconnection loss is the sum of the intrinsic loss and all extrinsic effects, but it is not uncommon to find higher interconnection loss with a larger core fiber compared to a smaller fiber due to looser fabrication tolerances which lead to more intrinsic loss. Insertion loss of a system is the optical power loss caused by inserting an optical component such as a fiber, connector, or splice into an optical path. It is most severe at connections and is caused by core misalignment. Return loss or reflectance is the ratio of reflected power to incident power, and it can cause false signals as power is reflected back and forth in the link. Fiber connectors are standardized by various IEC requirements. IEC 61753 series for performance requirements, IEC 61754 series for mechanical interface, and IEC 61755 series for optical interface. The standard IEC 61753 describes application-oriented grades for connection elements in fiber optic networks. It provides clear grade identification and necessary IEC test method to aid planners, as well as those responsible for networks, to make the correct selection of plug-in connectors, patch cables, and pigtails. Data center operators and telecommunications companies can determine their fiber optic specifications according to usage and make faster and more informed purchasing decisions. This also avoids purchasing of over-specified products which do not deliver the expected loss values claimed. 
The current requirements list shown here is based in part on IEC 61753 and defines the loss values according to the grade. Additionally, the standards IEC 61755-3-1 and IEC 61755-3-2 play a role as they define geometric parameters for fiber optic plug-in connectors. The interaction of these three standards form the basis for the compatibility of fiber optic plug-in connectors from different manufacturers and for the determination of manufacturer neutral loss values. Connectors allow users to make rematable connections between fibers and or other optical components like splitters, WDM or transmission equipment and come in several standard designs with minor variations. However, there are some proprietary connector products in use too. ST straight tip connectors are bayonet style with a ceramic ferrule and they push into position before twisting to lock in place. They are easy to handle and relatively inexpensive, but are termed as simplex connectors and cannot be used to manage typical transmit and receive transmission channel paths requiring duplex couplers. They are seldom used or specified these days due to them being simplex and their relatively high losses. They have largely been replaced by the SC and the LC. FC connectors are similar to ST in that they are simplex connectors with a metal and ceramic or plain ceramic ferrule, have a threaded body but are keyed and have to be aligned when mating with a socket before being tightened into the adapter or jack. These are good in high vibration environments and can be found in telecom networks and on some test equipment. SC subscriber connector connectors are a push-pull design, again with a ceramic ferrule, and are about the same size as an ST, but lighter due to their plastic construction. They are sturdy, easy to handle, pull-proof when used with cordage, and can be yoked together into a convenient duplex assembly. Like the FC, they are keyed connectors and are recommended by ISO and TIA standards in respect of design and administration. LC connectors are small form factor or SFF connectors about half the size of SC or ST connectors and are established as the SFF on the market today. They are available in both simplex and duplex versions, can be easily snapped in and out, and offer excellent optical performance having half the loss of ST or SC connectors. Although they are a small connector about half the size of an SC, their design with a sprung ceramic ferrule provides consistently high performance. You may still see other types. The MT-RJ, a duplex connector with both fibers in a polymer ferrule and pins for alignment. It has an existing base but few new installations. The MU looks like a miniature SC with a ferrule the same size as an LC, but this connector is most commonly used in Asia. The LX5 is like an LC connector but with a shutter. The MPO connector is a small connector about 10 millimeters wide containing 12 fibers in a polymer ferrule and these are commonly used in data centers where high density is required. Connectors and adapters are color coded. Single mode components are blue. Single mode APC angled physical contact connectors are bottle green. Multimode components are beige but 50 micron laser optimized are aqua. These colors are defined by the standards and are commonly used everywhere. There is always an exception, and some manufacturers produce LC connectors in a range of colors, but these are keyed connectors, so the connector and coupler have to match to be able to mate correctly. APC angled physical contact connectors are used with broadband and wireless applications on single mode fiber. Attaching a connector to a fiber will cause some of the light traversing through the fiber to be lost. Regardless of whether the connector was installed in the factory or in the field, its presence will be responsible for some light being reflected back toward its source, the laser. These reflections can damage the laser and degrade the performance of the signal. The degree of signal degradation caused by RL depends on the specifications of the laser, with some lasers being more sensitive than others. Additionally, different types of applications tolerate different degrees of RL. Use of reliable angled physical contact connectors provide numerous advantages in overall network flexibility, testing, and troubleshooting. 
The performance of fiber connectors over the years has improved dramatically as the ferrule design has been redesigned to give lower ORL and lower back reflections. Multimode fiber connectors are manufactured as PC, physical contact style, where the end of the connector is not flat, but slightly radiused, which reduces the overall size of the end face and reduces ORL. Losses on a typical PC connector are around 40 dB. With single-mode fiber, the core size is only 8 to 9 microns, so ensuring the maximum amount of light can be transmitted through the connection, the polishing process has been improved to produce an enhanced polished surface, and this design is called UPC, Ultra Physical Contact. Most manufacturers produce UPC single-mode connectors which are identified by their blue bodies. The losses on this style of connector are reduced to around 50 dB. The APC connector, as we have discussed earlier, is a further improvement on the ferrule design by adding an angle to the end of the ferrule. The losses on this style of connector drops to over 60 dB. To confuse matters, there are two versions available, one with an 8 degree angle and another with a 9 degree angle for even better loss. The 9 degree version is identified by a red boot, and these connectors should not be mated with ordinary ones, else any losses gained will be lost. Because of angle-polished end-face geometry, APC connectors have superior return loss when compared to UPC connectors. When light is reflected at the connector interface of a UPC connector, it is reflected straight back at the source, increasing return loss value. When the same signal passes through an APC connector, the 8-degree angle causes reflected light to be absorbed by the cladding material. When connectors are unmated, such as unused ports in FTTX distribution frames, the return loss for APC connectors is greater than 60 dB compared to UPC connectors, about 14 dB. This is an important consideration for building today's FTTX networks. APC connectors can enable improved performance due to limiting reflectance upstream back into downstream optical signal. When reflecting an analog optical signal into initial downstream signal, reflected signal tends to degrade or attenuate the downstream signal. So there is a cross-modulating effect in the analog signals when converting back to analog RF signal. For systems such as RF video, APC connectors are preferred, as these systems are extremely sensitive to any back reflections from connectors within the network. In general, UPC connectors, standard single mode, are deployed in transport systems designed for digital signal transport, while APC connectors are preferred for RF video signal transport. APC connectors are also preferred where there are open ports at the other end of splitters, typical in FTTP network designs. That completes this webinar. Thank you.